In this video, we will be seeing the optional extract process known as the data pump process. So as you see, there is a primary extract which extracts the data from the redo log files or the transactional log files, puts it into a trail file known as a local trail file and then you are going to configure an optional process known as data pump process which is going to read this trial file and send the data to the replicat side, right? We are not going to confuse this data pump process with the Oracle related technology known as export data pump or import data pump. This data pump process is specific to Oracle Golden Gate. So as you see, a data pump process reads the local trial file that is created by the primary extract. It manipulates the data. If you want, you can manipulate the data before propagating that data to the remote trial file or you can also send the data to multiple systems. Not only to one database, you can also send the data from the local trial file to multiple database by manipulating it. So there are various manipulations that can be done using this data pump process. That is by sending the data as it is to one system or sending the data in chunks to different systems by manipulating the data, all that can be done. And why is this data pump useful? It is basically to safeguard your data from network failures. As I said, since the primary extract is capturing the data and putting it into a local trial file, the data is safe and secure in the local trial file. And your data pump is sending that physical local trial file to the target site. If you do not have a data pump process, what happens? The primary extract extracts the data without putting it into a trial file. It directly sends the data over the network to the target site. That is also possible. But in that case, what happens? If there is any network failure, the data may not be propagated properly. So the purpose of having the trial files and the data pump process is against the network and target failures so that your data is safeguarded in the trial files. And you can also, as I said, manipulate the data before transferring the data to the target site or the replicate site. You can manipulate the data. You can send the data in terms of chunks or you can send the data to multiple systems as well. Now we will see the examples how a data pump process is going to transfer the data to the trial file. The first example, your primary extract extracts the data, puts it into a trial file and then your data pump process sends the data from the trial file to multiple trial files at the target site. So this is known as one to many trial files. Or your primary extract extracts the data, puts it into a local trial file. You can configure multiple data pump process which is sending the data to different databases as well. You can manipulate the data, you can segregate the data in this data pump processes which is sending the data across multiple trial files. Or the simple configuration, your primary extract extracts the data, puts it into a trial file, have a single data pump process which is sending the same trial file to the target database. So this is another type of configuration. Now let us see some examples. As you see in this example, when you want to create a data pump process, so edit params, say params name is finance. So this is your primary extract process. Now if you want to configure a data pump process, give edit params pump, right? This is going to be your data pump process. So extract pump pass through. What do you mean by pass through? That means it is directly passing all the messages to the trial file that is from the trial file of your local it is passing all the messages to the remote trial file and where exactly is your replicate or your remote database present that is what is your remote host where is your remote server present you are going to give that remote host here and what is the manager port number of your remote host so in your remote that is in your target site there is a manager running and on what port number is the manager running that port number you have to mention here so this is how a communication is created between your source database and the target database and then obviously the remote trial file. So your data pump process is going to read the trial files from the source and it is going to transfer those trial files to the remote server in this location. And what are the tables that it is going to pass through? It is basically your sales tables from the sales schema, the orders and the inventory tables. So once you create this data pump process, you need to register it. So add extract pump. So pump is nothing but your data pump process. Extrial source. So this is nothing but the 
local trial file that is created by your primary extract finance right so your extract source is this and you are going to also register your remote trial file where are you going to send the trial file that is where is your data pump process going to send the trial file at the remote server that location also you are going to register and finally you can start the extract data pump process as you see in this diagram a local trial file is read by the data pump process and it is going to send the same data to the remote trial file now we will see the practicals of how do you configure the data pump process let's see how to configure the extract data pump process so we are in our source database let's log in into our golden gate software command interface login with the username and password to the db now let's create the parameter file for the data pump process so give edit params e2 underscore dpmp that is uh, the name of our data pump process so these are the parameters that we will be using so extract name of the data pump process pass through pass through messages remote host this is the server name of your remote database that is your target database this is the port number where the manager is running for your target database this is the remote trial files the location in the target database or the target server where your trial files will be pumped by this data pump process and this is the name of the schema and the tables associated with it so save the trial files save the parameter files verify whether the parameter file is created yes the parameter file is created in dir prm directory now let's register the data pump parameter file logged in into the database add the extract that is we are going to register the extract e2 underscore dpmp source file for the trial is this one so this is where your data pump process will pick up the trial files from and send it to the remote host that is the target database server it says extract added and you can add the remote trial file as well so now if you check we have the manager process which is always up and running we have added the extract process and we have also added the data pump process